So there's our chip. That looks to me like 8A9788PE and V1036JW. And it's that little blue fella there. It does actually say R16 next to it. But I strongly suspect it might be an inductor. And we've actually connected this bit of wire to one, two, three, pin four on the chip. I don't know if I can turn it over so you can see it. And that seems to make it work. I've just pulled the aerial off there, but that was soldered okay. I'll re-solder that before I put it all back together. So, if anybody's got any idea why that makes it work, I'd love to know. I'll just run through what I've done and see if that makes sense. I've downloaded the data sheet for the Pericom Technology Inc. PT8A978 5 function remote controller. I've connected a wire to pin 4 of the chip and now the receiver functions fully. The other end of the wire is unterminated. The resistor between pins 4 and 5 set the oscillator for the timing signal. The signal received by the antenna is amplified in two stages on the chip before going to the signal input pin. Stage 1 is in on pin 14, out on pin 15. Stage 2 is in on pin 16 and out on pin 1. And then the signal goes in on pin 3, which is the signal input pin. My opinion is that somehow this wire is acting as an antenna and synchronising the oscillator so that it recognises the signal received from the original antenna. It's just a guess. Touching the same wire on any other pin on the chip doesn't make the receiver work. And I've traced out the track of the antenna and I can't find any problems with it. That doesn't mean there aren't any, but I can't see any. So, I've got a working receiver, um, and I'm not quite sure why, I'm guessing. But there you go. Anybody else got any opinions? Feel free to tell me.